Oh well. Gigantic rum and coke. I big gulp this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. All right. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to a special nearly competent episode. Nearly competent LGBTQ Pride Month. I messed that up, but you guys know what I mean. Welcome. So for June. I'm going to be randomly, probably on Friday nights, uh, playing LGBTQ games in honor of uh, Pride Month, June. Um, so I thought it's the first Friday of June. What a better way to celebrate LGBTQ than with Dream Daddy, Dad Rector's Cut. I'm going to see if I can hook me a Marvin. Um, yeah. I have never played this. I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, I'm hoping this isn't going to be... Uh, I should have maturity on. I think I should. How do I check that? Let's find out. I might have to edit it. I'm gonna do this here. I don't know what that is. Alright, whatever. It's not listed as a game that I'm not allowed to play. So, I think I'm good. So, without further ado, We'll get into it. New game, because I've never done one before. Here we go. Is that my dog? Hang on. I don't know what that is. Dad! Wake up! Pretend to be dead, obviously. I look. Oh. No, that's my dog barking. Okay, I'll be right back. I gotta go stop that. Dogs are the worst. 
I'm back. Hopefully, the amount of viewers aren't like zero now. Okay, anyway, continuing on, no thanks to you, dumb dog. I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, Dad, this hasn't been since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to you all my earthly possessions. <laughs> Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. Mm. You're my daughter? I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Morning, Manda Panda. Aww. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. This is getting playfully rude, and I like it. Oh, that was it. Feel that dad. I'm so happy. Okay. What are you eating? I hate dogs. Okay. I'm gonna do me. Uh, I'm a... I'm a heavy set man. Heads. I'm very rounded. That's more like me. I do not have any hair. <laughs> you know what, guys? I don't care what you guys say. I clearly have giant anime eyes. So, we're gonna do that. Um... Yeah, that's my nose. I think so. Eugene Levy. Not Eugene Levy, though. Because that man's eyebrows are national goddamn treasure. Uh, I'll do a beard. Uh, but I have dark brown hair. Glasses? They have... <laughs> of course you have my glasses. God damn it. I have no piercings. Oh... Plain white tee, Danny clothes, badass. Oh, good. None of that is me. This is definitely more my look. I'm looking good. Name that dad. I'm clearly going to be nearly and competent. <gasps> be that dad. Go lie down somewhere, dog. I hate you. Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait. Straggler! Hmm. I see a bunch of old photos. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> That's a good react. Yeah! Well, I haven't seen these in years! I pull one of the dusty albums down and we begin going through it. Dang! My kid was slick AF. Hang on, I forgot to tell someone I'm streaming. Her. You're done. We begin going through it. Look at that photo! Huh. That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. That's you. Uh. Well, clearly not. Oh, could be adopted, though. Did I adopt you? No. No. The only way that I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. 
Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four? <laughs> Rah! You were indeed a dragon. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess, dragon. Hmm. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Hmm. Right, yep, definitely repress that memory. Good. And this was you in your horse phase. Uh. Don't eat that fucking pillow. God damn it, dog. I hate you. Only when I'm streaming do you pull this crap. Dog! Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. Uh. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatched away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. <laughs> Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. How do they know about my ska band? Look at me. I look like I'm in a ska band. Ouch, kid. The Scamunist Manifesto had a chance back in the day. <gasps> Scamunist. I like that. I look off in the distance and reminisce about the rad horn selection. Hey, it's Emma P. Aww. No, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Honey, I promise you, wholeheartedly, that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. I love me. I love me. Dad, MR has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. All right. Emma P was the one who... Uh... I would clearly go for the most... No, I'm on. Uh, she clearly pooped her pants. Aww. Dad, that was me. I did that. Aw, oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Hmm. I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't huh. Emma P. What are you doing? God, this dog. She never told anyone, though. True blue, that huh. Emma R. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photographer, photography award. You ever won. Yeah, and I got a $20 gift card to McFriday's. That is a mixture of many, many restaurants. And then you got food poisoning from the cheesy Tostada Blasts. A lot of zets in that name. Fuck off, dog. I think you mean food poisoning. You know, with a Z. Aww. Dad. Still can't drive past McFriday's without gagging. Yeah. Hang on. The dog's about to lie down. Yes. Still proud of you, though. Marion pulls out one last mm. photo. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Uh. I finally decide to break the silence. That was the day you were born. Kind of a funny story. We got into a car accident right there in the hospital apartment. It wasn't anything big, just a fender bender. But of course I was freaking out. And the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. But your mother... Oh, man. She holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen her, and she says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. But I have to imagine it's like, It'll be okay. Uh, uh. She was right, you know. It was. I stared at the picture for longer. Maybe too long. I miss her. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. She pats me on the back. Did my... Did she die? We gotta finish packing. Moving man won't wait forever. You're right! Oh. What's that? Weird. Man and I pile on the car and take one last look at the old house. Can I click other things? No. So many memories here. Hard to believe your mother and I bought this place almost 20 years hmm. ago. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? Yeah. It was really fucking expensive, Amanda. God. You always had very strong arms. The other front window pretended to be a robot who breaks windows. Yeah, again, really fucking expensive, Amanda. You were a very imaginative child. But 
we we get it. Oh my god, that was what I was gonna say. You break stuff. No, no, there won't be. Memories to make, stuff to break. You ready? We sit and I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. And I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear. So, so what? Uh -huh. So sell me on our new cool pad. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Game. It's the only announcer voice I've ever. Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay. Our new house features. A two-car garage! That's right, you heard me! A garage big enough for not just one, but two whole cars! As well as room for all my very important dad tools! And my motorcycle! My sick hog! Mm. The old steel pony! Dad little motor velocipede! Dad. The two-wheel transportation station! <laughs> that! I've never ridden a motorcycle in my life, and to be honest, I'm afraid of them. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good speed! I think it's great. It won't be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to, so I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is. You know. Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn to bail a park at some point, right? Mm. Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their oh. attitude. What are you doing? Get out of here. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to chase variety teams off your lawn? You're the very team to mock when you say that, honey. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Huh. Don't you dare. Senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Jesus, fuck dog. I'm gonna lose my shit in a minute. Go. Get the hell out. way up there. Citizen! Mm. Just gonna oh. ignore that, but I won't forget it. So what's that on your house agenda? Well first we need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I'll have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery mm -hmm. shopping. Pops, cool you just you gotta promise you we're gonna take a break and explore the neighborhood. Alright, alright. You're right. We'll get some work done, and then check the area. Oh, Dan, that's a nice house! The lawn is freshly mowed, and the for sale sign is still in there. Hiya! And with a swift quick from the matter, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet dude. I got a problem with the Thor, huh? I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping took me out. Here we go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich. Sweet. It's 10 a.m. I need some coffee ASAP. I'm gonna be useless all day. Can we pass the driveway on the way here? Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. <laughs> to the coffee spoon. Cute little place on the corner. Man, it's such a convenient walking place from our. I mean, I guess. Mm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I'd just be better at coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? This, this, this version is so much like me. I'm, like, I know I'm bi, but like, this is too much. This is crazy. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it. Because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Mm -hmm. That. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you gotta sit on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? 
What do you leave it there? And feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight. And now you're that jerk who left their mug. Ugh. This is real stress that I deal with when I go to a coffee shop. This is all real. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda! My god, this is me! We walk inside. Hmm. Dad! The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Some cool tune spins on a record player next to the little stage. Hey. Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Oh, it's, uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. Gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. Hmm. People ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. Now I'm standing here rambling. I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. I've been there. Hmm. So what'll it be? Huh. I scan the truck and I'm really overwhelmed. I'll have a... <gasps> Tegan and Sarah! From Calgary, my hometown. I actually went to the same high school as me. Lord Beaverbrook. Godspeed, you! A classic. Did. Do you. Are we in love? What is this? Oh, that's cool. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Godspeed, you. Black Emperor is a really amazing and such a person. I have no hey. idea what this is. I'm doing that. Thank hey. you, man. But come on right up. And for you, I'll have a macchiato de Marco. Hey. Come right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Medium. What is Biggie Smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that. No, leave it. If you don't get it, Amanda, you don't deserve it. Matt says to make it a drink, so Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cool bands and you listen to anyway. Hey. Hey! Skull was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. <laughs> Nudge me? Woman! This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Come on, what would we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and always, also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. <laughs> See? You're making progress. Matt sets our drinks on the table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Nearly. Hey. Alright oh, on. Pleased to meet you both. Uh -huh. You ought to come by where my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get you guys' opinion on something. Is it his dick? Oh, it was a fresh plate of something that smells hey. amazing. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need some help coming up with some name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, we really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda Nod's vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that banana bread a taste if you want us doing some free creative labor. I think that would be commensurate with, uh, taught her well. We have trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chat. <laughs> this is amazing! Hey. Thanks. Secret ingredient is bananas. Mm. Fuck, this guy's funny as hell. Goddamn! So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might be able to give you some dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's? That's a good one. Grateful banana bread? Grateful dad? Right said banana bread? Banana Bread Kennedy's. You know, like the punk band. I thought you said you only knew dad band puns. I'm a hard dad. <laughs> that actually has a nice ring to it. Really? Uh, yeah. yeah, Banana Bread Kennedy's. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it didn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should leave the thing saying baby to the professionals. Hey. Oh. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Mm -hmm. See? Sounds good when you say it. 
Across the way, a man catches my eyes. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. And now that we're full of caffeine, where to? Let's get some fresh air. Time to soak up all that vitamin D. Make our bones nice and strong. Yeah, our skeletons are going to get so strong, they're going to hop right out of our bodies and crush cars with their bony fingers. Amanda, I already have an irrational fear skeleton will one day skip my flesh sack and run amok. Please don't encourage me. I do not have that fear. Uh, to the park. Yeah, man. So far, I'm not dating anyone. But I'm liking it. A man and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. I thought it was like 10 in the morning. Why is there a barbecue? Lunch. This place is nice. Mm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stool over there? Government operative. Mm. Ronnie, you baby. Ah. True story. Babies are, in fact, government operatives. They have recording in their diapers because they know you'll never look in there voluntarily. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! I got hit by a ball. Not the kind of balls I want in my face. A frisbee's a... It's a frisbee, not a ball. Hits me in the face. <laughs> Woof. Uh... Adorable. What is this dog? Corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me. It's a hipster dog. Did you throw the thing on my head? Bark. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. Woof woof. How long do I have left? Grr. What's that? I'm already too late. My fate was predetermined for me long ago. I have no real agency in this cruel lifetime. Ruff ruff. You're right. I am the master of my domain. For fate is unknowable. Thank you, wise dog. I love this me. You could definitely cop that guy in a Hawaiian shirt. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to takes a frisbee from You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. It's a new technique. It's a new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. Yeah. Ha! Just mess. Jesus! What was that? That's too many hearts. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm nearly. This is my daughter, Amanda. We're the competence. I look over at Amanda, only find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Oh. Your dog's cool. Uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. <laughs> this is Daisy. She's reading the Brothers Carmichael. Her teacher tells me she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. Damn, Daisy. How old is she? Uh-huh. Ten. She's a precocious little hey. youngster. Whoa. <laughs> my natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. Oh my god, what's happening, and I love it. Oh my god, I love it. What is happening? Oh my god. Oh. Um, I... That's my girl. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. Nearly's HP 80. Okay. Uh, 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 brag. Amanda here just recently won a vo- local photography award. Wow, congratulations. Ha! Daisy actually just won the statewide poetry contest. Damn! Uh, I don't know what that means. Let's try. Can't switch daughters. Amanda's your only daughter. That is true. Item. Uh, uh. Boom! You pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade card out of her back pocket. Damn! Awesome grades. Oh, shit! You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it is kind of weird. You lose five. 
Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school. Can you do that? She's the president, too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club or a computer lab. You lose 10. Oh, I'm winning again. Uh, uh, uh. Spelling bee photo. Fumble through your phone's browser and manage to pull up the photo of a man and winning her 10th grade spelling bee. Brian, wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy's getting prepped for her annual spelling bee right now. Hopefully this will make her third year in a row. Yikes! I lose five. Daisy sold enough candy bar this year to get the top prize. A canoe. Daisy, we're taking out next weekend. How's it even possible? Amanda could probably get one of those sticky hard things. It's extra powerful. It uses 20. Shit. Uh. 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 How do I go back? How do I go back? No, I want back. Child art! Cute. Boom. I regained 20! Party, still cute, but maybe this isn't a timber hair. I lose 10. Oh shit. Brag! Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. Boom! Extra powerful. Damn! Figure she was all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity. Push through her lips together to hide her teeth. It's extra power. I lose 20. I got Brag! Uh, I made us an all of the grand semester. Ah! I'm actually talking over the things I have in the grade. Ah! Ah! Boy, it's been such a treat getting to know you too. Did you have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? That was super stressful. I liked it. We are new to the neighborhood. Just moved in. Do you live around here? Uh, yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down by the coffee shop. <laughs> what a coincidence. That's where we live too. <gasps> Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little ranch style house in the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Uh, well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up mm -hmm. us? Trying and succeeding. I couldn't the kid's only ten. What was he even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. Uh. Comparative horse studies. Aw, oh, shit. Horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. Dad. Let's never again speak of the fantastic investing adventures of Sir Horsington and the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Compton. Ha 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 ha. We laugh it off. We're enjoying the day. Let's go unpack. We should head home. I'm going to need four hours minimum to figure out how to build a new bed. I'd like to not have to sleep on the floor. Boom. I enjoyed that Pokemon game so much. It's amazing. How is this place already a mess? I get to work on packing, living room, a couple hours pass and I get some good work done. Wash and dry and use both washing and drying. We can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over to the door and open it. Oh. Hello? A handsome, oh my, you're very handsome. Branching a plate of cookies. Hell, oh? Wow. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi, I'm nearly. That's what my name is. I saw the moon again and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Joseph leans in and whispers, oh. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate <laughs> chips. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? Oh. Yeah. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Huh. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, Amanda disappears with the cookies. Hmm. Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Mm. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. Uh. I have four kids. What have you done? Oh, uh, I meant... Mm. Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh, no. This is the first neighbor I've met in the social service already. Oh, tells me. Oh, no, it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah. Okay. Is the missus around? No, not anymore. She died. Holy fuck. Oh, uh, yeah, now you're the dick. Sorry for your loss. No, no, it's alright. I hated her. 
Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both be. Oh. Sorry, can you close the door real quick? Look at Joseph quizzily, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing oh. with a huge smile. Hey, I'm your new date, Joseph. I promise to not talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue keep the cold sack, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say? Oh. Now? That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Yeah. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. But stops the thing for a second and turns around. Oh. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church. To ah, no! I don't do church shit. I don't think yeah. a youth. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery recover I've ever seen. I should be taking yeah. notes. See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Mm. They're gone. I'm sorry. Yeah. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So we ate all of them anyway. Uh. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. We're gonna be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness, Matt and I step outside. Yeah. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house this is. I'd have to get the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We go up to the kids and wave. Oh, they look so happy. I just noticed the eyes. The eyes are dead and very creepy. Oh. Hey guys, is your dad around? They all stare at us blankly. We just wanted to uh, turn this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these are definitely Joseph's kids. They look exactly like them. Christy, they were really good. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Chris, Christian, and Chris... I chuckle nervously. Uh, huh? Well, okay, we're just gonna set this plate down on the ground real gentle and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach the house. Holy crap, those huh. kids. Are you freaking kidding me with those kids? Ugh. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest mm. my eyes. You've been awake for what, three hours? Yeah, it's a new record. Three hours too many. Nap time! Oh, as we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Nearly! Bro! I turn around, I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Who is that on your chest? And what's that on your arm? What's that on your wrist? What's wrong with your eyebrow? Did you have a scar? I have questions. I have all of the questions. Craig? Oh. Bro! Bro! Oh. Holy, wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Haha, oh. <laughs> yeah, cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? You kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me. You're so big now. Hello, and hello, nice. cute baby. Uh, thank you. Last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi. Oh, fucking hell. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. Rivers is my kid. And it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Nice. I was working out in California. California. And just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Matt and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Oh, man. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her oh. name. She actually still goes by Smashley. And, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude. So sorry. It's all dudes. We take turns care taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three oh. kids? Ain't life something, bro? Right? Keg Stan Craig is our father of three. Oh. 
Cake thing, right? Mm. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was my old college nickname. You got it because you did a lot of cake things. Nice. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and drink from the keg. Mm. Right. He was very good at it. Mm. Oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily job and I really gotta keep my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promise myself that I'm gonna jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and walk home. Mm -hmm. Was well, never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Haha, <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch. That's the good old days. All right, sure. Sounds great. Great, let's get that thing going. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his head back, and logs off. That's a sentence. Did you enjoy that sentence? That was a sentence. I can't believe Craig is ripped in his kids. Mm. I'm reeling. Why's that? Craig I knew was not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce, and then he drank it, like it was the thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing, and he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. Yeah. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. No, he's absolutely wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. I better start dating some guys soon. I'm losing it. The Pokemon battle brought me back, but I'm losing it again. Huh. Too bad we're going to be putting myself in my in a few months. No! Don't say that. It's going to be okay? I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... My little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. <laughs> Come visit. I'll text you every day. I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You can major in photography? Anyway. You promise? Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog. Hey. A dog! Right. Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost me to give up my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than cars. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's a bad laugh. <laughs> Males! Speaking of college, she pulls one out and throws the rest yeah. back on the floor. McGowan, come on, art and design. Open it. Mm. Just an envelope. <sighs> Not a big deal. No, it's not. We have a letter open. Mm. But okay. Hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dark up my foot, scanning the letter. What does it say? The admission screen is revealed at the location, blah blah blah. Uh. Her face drops. We regret to inform you that we were unable to offer you admission to McGowan. No! Oh, uh. sweetie. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is gonna wait, is gonna want to snatch mm. you up for sure. Yeah, I know, it's fine. Are you actually fine or are mm -hmm. you just saying that? I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't have tried this. Oh, and before I forget, MR on MRP are sleeping over time. Oh. Fuck off! You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? God damn it! Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you have a new place to yourself. And what are your plans? Quick, think of plans. I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Now that the town needs me, I need to perform my mayoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so that I may preside over my mayor stuff. I think you think of the guy from Monopoly. He was a mayor, right? Huh. Was he? My God. He was not. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> he might as well have been. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go out and watch the game. Which game? You know, the game. Oh. One that's on tonight. The game on TV. That's somewhere hmm. other than here. Okay, cool. Will you do that drugs and commit? I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Eh. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime at this point. Maybe money laundering is the least. <laughs> I'm a street rat, Pops. 
You're kidding about doing drugs in front of me. Yes. Just make sure. Pat on the head. Are you being sarcastic? Dad. No. Oh. Okay. All right, then. I just seem like cleaning the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops yeah. me. Hey, don't forget you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Right, Mr. Vega. I'm going to have sex with him. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. So what do I do? I, I need to start dating a guy. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is. I'm going to walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool. Okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game. In the distance. Could it be? A big burnt onion sign. Jim and Kim's, huh? It'll do. Small and dimly lit. Oh, this is my man. Oh, yes. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. Size me a nice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Hey, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. All right, then. <laughs> Fuck. Eee. Are they colored mascot? Eee. So Boomer are wearing the same clothes as the team. Hey. I am not. No. Hey, sailor. Oh. oh, hello. Good to see fresh meat here. I'm Mary. Come here often? No, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm nearly, by the oh. way. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win. The game with hey. ease. Oh, I love that team. And also, I love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. I'm getting the impression she's a little drunk. Mm. Uh, buy a gal a drink? Sure. They're clearly friends. All right. I suppose I gotta keep you company hey. now. You do not. No, I bought you that to leave. You can... Away with you now. So what do you want to know? What's your deal? Me? I'm a ghost, nearly. I haunt the hollows all of Jim Kim's, waiting for my beloved to return from sea. Really? No. Oh. Homegirl just loves a drink. So what else can you tell me about this quiet uh. town? It's quiet. Idyllic life. Picket fences. Place to do it. Ooh. A little too ominous? Oh. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Oh boy. Maybe some other time? What? Alright. I don't even know what to do now. Come on! It's the Brilliant Man from Coffee Spoon! Sipping whiskey. He's a man's man. Enjoying the game? I know that we're winning. Oh, we must be winning for different games. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to agree with that. Based on our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's where you're wrong, since as it stands right now, my team is beating ours. Well, I don't even know what to do here. Do you not even know what to do about this? Hey! Two glasses? Name's Robert. Thanks, I'm nearly... I... You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. Slimy as it is. You'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this oh. place? No, that'd be me. <laughs> Hello. I... Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Mm. Okay. You a whiskey fellow or a beer fellow? Beer. But I will drink... <gasps> this is me! You like shots? Off your chest. Mm -hmm. I will gladly. Ah. It's to you and your health. There. This is what making friends is. We did it, everyone. We are totally doing it. I'm doing it, everyone. We are going to be pals. Uh, do not compliment the leather jacket. Uh, rugged good looks. Your face is good. That is exactly how I compliment people. If you know me in real life, you know that I always go, Hey, your face is good. 
Wait. Oh shit, I'm flirting! Ah. Another round! What are you doing here tonight? Ah, don't talk about the kid. That's a buzz kill. Just trying to make friends. I'm new in town. Figured it might be good to put myself out there. You seem pretty cool. The key to being cool is acting like you don't care about anything, but actually care very deeply about everything to the point where it's debilitating. Really? I... Damn's it. Of course not. I... Gets up. Be right back. Got a pat on my nose. Is he here to do cocaine? Ha! Huh, I guess so. Ooh. I'm... Yeah. Huh. Yes! I'm so excited about having a gay relationship with this man. Robin and I leave the bar and find us as well in the same yeah. direction. Just, er, yeah. Me too. We just finished uh, unpacking. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Some of them. Who's that? Oh, shit. Mm. I don't kiss and tell nearly. Huh. Uh -huh. I... What? You know. Do you want to come inside? Yes! Smile and nod. Oh my god! What is happening? It happened so quickly! <laughs> Leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom. He kisses me. Oh my god! Look at my face. I am the man who does this. No. Look at this. Look at my face. Look at it down there. This is a guy. This is a guy who does this a lot. No. Good. Oh my god. Sunlight streams in the slides of the blinds. My head is pounding. I really overdid it last night. Wait a minute. This isn't my old house. Or my new house. Oh, right. I look around for Robert. I find myself alone. Hello? There's a clatter from the bathroom and the door opens. Grabs his keys. That was fun. Yeah, it was. You should go. Yeah. Talk to you later? Mm -hmm. Sure. Your clothes are over there. Hey. Get dressed, show myself out. I'm barely bright. I need to lie down. Start my way back home when I suddenly remember. Amanda! Oh, I'm a bad dad. Something smells delicious. Amanda? Oh, man, I was kind of hoping you'd gotten kidnapped and I was going to have to come rescue you. No, I, uh, made a friend at the bar last night and ended up sleeping over at his place. Where are the Emmas? They left a little while ago. Oh, you guys have fun? Yeah, I watched some movies, ate snacks, a little car, you know. Yeah. You teens and your lars larceny. So, this breakfast is cooking. What's that all about? Mm. Well, there's hash browns and eggs and bacon. Can I? Aww. Yes, you can have some breakfast. Bless you, sweet child. My head drops. God, you're something about the same over. Amanda, your lo loving father might have overdone yeah. this. Ooh, somebody has hung over. Father of the year. You wouldn't happen to have any aspirin or... Alright! Just the thing. <laughs> Once in the fridge, we'll jar of pickles. Yeah, what? Alright! The pickle okay. juice. Hmm. Never tried it before. And won't try it, obviously. Hmm. Who raised you? Right. Um, do as I say, not as I do. Better work. Down a sip of the tart yeah. juice? More than that. Way more than that. I mean, I assume. Oh. Watch it, you. Oh, uh, runny egg yolk. Ah. Well, I gotta get to class. Don't forget the meeting with Mr. Vega, okay? I'll be there. Knock him dead. I had sex with a man! That's a thing that happened. Go me. I am a little hungover. Yep, that is a fair point. 
They give me a bright orange visitor sticker. Oh god, I hate that shit. I'm only two minutes late. Wait, we were, oh shit. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vegas' classroom is? What is happening here? Ugh. Come on, kid. I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. I don't know if you tried the exit. All right, wise guy. You gonna help me or not? Ugh, fine. Up the stairs and to the left. Can't miss him. Unable to find. God damn it. Below Ranch Gerard Way. Hmm? Lucy, don't you have a third period to get to? Ugh, fine, mm -hmm. Mr. Vega. Wow. You know how much he's lieutenant? I know he walks away. Hmm. We're not cool. You must be nearly. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Ah. His man takes you into the comically small. Hmm. Yay. Now, who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator and J.D. Sanders' catch oh. a ride? Yes, Colin? Just the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a funny oh. noise. The whole class erupts in laughter. Oh. All right. All right, everybody. Very funny. Colin, please sit ah. down. Now, Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that... Bell for the end of the period. They all immediately may have a break. Huh? Remember the reason you didn't answer the question that bad? Nobody's listening. Hmm? Or not, I guess. Turns on me. Hmm. Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high school? I don't know. Both, you know, budget cuts. Ouch. Oh. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem. Mr. Oh. Vega. Please, call me <sighs> Hugo. Ooh, dang. Concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? Uh. Engaged, but I know she cares. She's not completing assignments. to doing very poorly. This is strange. What? Uh. We just moved. Well, we just moved. She was the other side of town, and I was more excited than oh. I was. She's very too great to appreciate your eyes. Eh. I really hate to see her miss. Hey! Thanks, Hugo. Hey, Hugo. Oh. Did you ever catch that ride? Oh. Yes. Ba Boom! Still a little bit in shock. What? Amanda! Gosh, about your celebrity crushes. Mario Batali? That's who your crush is? Hmm. Pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Yeah. Make something at home. Yeah. It'll at least be edible, baby. Huh. Yeah, come on. Me, do something. When the kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay. But also, sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective. Because you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar mm -hmm. situations. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for anyway. What I'm trying to say is that it's good to share. Love you. Have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter? Hmm. What? Never mind. Look, sweetie. You've been participating in that, and that you're not trading okay. things in. Senior Reyes. I thought you liked Mr. Vegas oh. class. Just, I want you to know that you can talk oh. to me about anything. I don't know how I feel about this. Am I R? Are you? Are you, Amanda? So funny. I might get it if you don't let me. Who are you texting? Huh. There's no one. My God. Does he go to your school? Mm -hmm. Do you like him? Oh, shit. Oh, 
shit. I'm not just asking. I think you do. Hmm. I bet. I bet he is. I bet he's your friend with benefits. Well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. This is my radio. No one turns on my radio. Ah. Artisanal. Yeah, how do you do artisanal mac and cheese? It, it's, it's not a finer thing issue. The issue is, it's macaroni noodle and cheese. That's it. That's the two ingredients. You cannot artisanal macaroni noodles and cheese. <laughs> Okay, I'll allow it. Bacon is delicious. I feel like someone's home in my house. I should definitely check. Otherwise, I'm being robbed. And that's a thing. Demand you. Bacon. Huh. Check on that bacon. Wait. It's a mouthfeel. Okay. I'm not being robbed. Yeah, that's how I feel about the Food Channel, too. I think this person's me. Words, Gregarious. Check on bacon. Oh. Starting to brown up. Cotty Wampus. Ooh, it smells good. Mm, nice. Good work, Dad. Bacon can easily overheat. We literally just moved into your own desert and I'll bring this bit down. I toss the bacon bits in there. Mm. How's the mouth feel? Tastacular. Yeah. Fuck you. It's got a good mouthfeel to it. Hey. Ah. Wow, long haul ice road paranormal ghost truckers. Oh hell yes. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. I would watch the fuck out of that show. Huh. Also, the trucks are haunted. This is getting better. Callum and Flint, Dogbone, the twin brothers. Ghost hunting duo. Greatest panel yet. Ghost of Dunn Control out. I got there. Oh, shit. EVP meter. Trying to communicate. Remember where we're today? Almost got it. Oh, shit. Please, you're gonna mm -hmm. die. That's because we're about to die, you. This is art. What? Don't start arguments on the internet. Oh. Boom! Good night's sleep, baby. Uh. I'm actually gonna end it here. That was fun. This was a good, like, hour long. I like it. This is very good. I might actually keep playing this. I think this might not be just a one off. I've already had gay sex once. It's amazing. Uh. <laughs> Both in real life and in the game. It's amazing. Um, anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Happy Pride Month. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm just going to upload this to YouTube. So if you're watching this on YouTube, there's no editing. There's no nothing. Just a straight up episode of me finding my dream daddy. Am I the dream daddy? I don't know. But anyway... Thank you guys again so much for watching. Have a good evening.